OK. And as I told you before, I'm going to tell you about the standard. So, the definition of a standard is that the minimum requirement of any types of tools and instrument which should be considered if you want to design them, construct them, or install them at the site or, at, I mean, at the uh, factory, refinery, or things like that. As I told you before, this is the minimum requirement of something that must be taken into consideration. It means that, for example, when you want to, uh, I don't know, survey some types of instrument uh, uh, standards, and all of a sudden you find that the housing material of something must be constructed based on die-cast aluminum. It means that this is the minimum requirement that you should consider for constructing these things. Otherwise, it means that uh, you do not consider the standards and actually there is a gap between the thing that you design and the thing that has been considered in the standard. So it's so important for us to follow and obey all the things that has been written in the standards because as I told you before, this is one of the most important things that you must consider during your designing and, uh, I mean, uh, constructing, supplying, and installation. So, as I told you before, for this thing, I'm going to write some types of uh, some names of, sorry, some names of standards for you and during this uh, training I will teach you uh, the uh, application of those standards. I mean, in which part you can use them and why actually we use these standards during our instrument engineering thing. So, the first and one of the most one is API. This standard is related for American Petroleum Institute and undoubtedly, without any hesitation, I can tell you this one is one of the most applicable one uh, in the world during the instrument uh, designing, constructing, and those types of things. For example, I want to make an example to clarify this issue for you. Just imagine, I'm writing API 551 or for example 553 there the first standard that I wrote for you I mean 551 is a type of standard that you can find all types of uh, measuring things measuring designing and those types of things this standard includes all things related for pressure, temperature, flow, and level measurement. Just imagine me as an uh, instrument designer. If I want to uh, design some types of uh, you know, standards related for flow or temperature or pressure or so forth, I have to take a short glimpse on this standard and find out about the requirement that this standard uh, requires uh, to consider in my project. For example, if you want to check the IP grade of the instrument, you must check this standard in which you can find, for example, the IP grade of something is 65. It means that, as I told you before, if you consider it as 54, it's totally wrong because in this case you do not follow the standard and that's for sure. Uh, there is a gap between the thing that you're designing and the thing that has been considered in this standard. So, for example, for the second one, I mean 553, this standard is related for control valve in refinery. For example, if you want to design and construct a control valve uh, in a project related to the refinery, you must obey and follow all the things that has been written in this standard for you. It's so important and you must pay your full attention here. For example, uh, maybe for example for controlling and the flow application or flow uh, controlling in a pipe, uh, you should uh, check the related valve characteristics uh, of the valve. Maybe, for example, it must be equal percentage or these types of things. So it's so important that you follow these things. During my words, maybe you found out some other things such as valve characteristics or, I don't know, for example, equal percentage or things like that. Please don't be worried because in this training uh, integrity package, I'm going to teach 
all these things for you. So here I'm just trying to make some examples for you that in which standard you will find which types of things. So as I told you before, please just wait. In the following parts, I'm going to teach you all those things as well. So, uh, actually I made some examples related to, to these things and I told you during those uh, parts of this standard you can find some items related to instrument engineering designing but I want to tell you some other things this standard includes some other things related to pipes material or things like that for example let me write something here for you A P I 5 L grade B. This part of the standard is totally different from the thing that we've already uh, written on the whiteboard and I just talked about them. This part of this standard is just related to designing uh, the material and choosing the material for the pipes. I mean 5L grade B is talking about carbon steel pipe that you must uh, consider them for the pipes if you want to, for example, design or choose a material for the pipes at the site. So as you can find here, I want to tell you API is one of the most uh, complete uh, standards in all over the world that consider all those types of things. You cannot believe this thing, but I want to tell you, during this standard, you can find many types of things related for uh, formula and equations of uh, pressure safety valve, control valve, we can find many t uh, items related for structures, pipes, materials, and so forth. Each engineer at the site, based on you know, his uh, major and profession, tries to use the, uh, one of the, actually, you know, the parts of this standard to design and construct an installation uh, of the project. For example, me as an instrument engineer tries to use these types of uh, parts uh, to, for example, calculate or choose uh, instrument things, valves, or so forth. Another one that I want to tell you is related for ISA. This is the second standard that I want to tell you, ISA. Actually, International Society of Automation, undoubtedly, I can tell you this one is one of the most famous and well-known among all instrument engineers in all over the world. In this standard, you can find many types of things. Uh, you know, after that, you know, in the following part, I will uh, teach you some items related for P and ID, and I will teach you how you can complete a data sheet uh, in instrument. You cannot imagine this one. In this standard, there are a lot of samples, symbols, and you know, legends related for those drawings and data sheet and things like that. For example, I can tell you something. ISA S5.1 is one of the most well-known and named uh, standard considering all things related to P and ID, symbols, legends, and those types of things. For example, uh, a circle can show uh, the instrument at the side or I mean in the drawing as well. So if you want to, for example, uh, code some types of instrument at the side, uh, there are some uh, abbreviations that can help you to put those things uh, during the PNID. For example, PG uh, is standing for pressure gauge, or for example, FT is standing for flow transmitter. All these symbols and legends and the things that I've just already told you has been considered in this standard and each instrument engineer should use this standard uh, to survey their related drawing. As I told you before, there are some other documents such as data sheets uh, which, uh, in which actually you can find many types of uh, designing parts such as you know material, you know a lot of factors related for designing such as accuracy, range, calibration range and many other things too. So there is a sample in this standard called as ISA 20. Including all types of things related for considering and designing a data sheet. It means in this standard 
you are taught how you can uh, complete a data sheet, how you can fill it, and ac actually, you know, as I told you, there are some other samples for these uh, documents as well. So these are some types of samples related to uh, documents, but moreover, I can tell you, uh, in this standard, uh, you can find some other things related for formula, equations, and calculation of many devices. To draw an example, I can tell you, ISA 75.01.01 is a standard related to calculation of control valve. Uh, you may know this one or you may not. Each valve has a valve coefficient. I mean, it's a type of factor that, uh, you know, helps us to calculate the amount of, uh, you know, uh, uh, flow that streams through the valve. And in this case, it can help us to find out about the, uh, how can I say that, capacity of the valve as well. So, this standard, considering a lot of formula and calculation of a control valve, which can help us to find out that factor that I've already told you. So, it's so important uh, we know this one and try to use it during our projects. As I told you before, in the following parts of my training, I will teach you how we can use these types of standards to pave the way, actually, in our uh, projects and how we, how we can use these things to calculate a valve too. There are some other parts in this standard which will be totally applicable for us for designing and as I told you before, these things just are some types of examples uh, of related, you know, the part of uh, my training, uh, step by step gradually. I will tell you about the exact thing uh, of each standard for each section. For example, for case of pressure, I will tell you about the related standard based on, for example, API, ISA and other things too. Another standard that I want to tell you is 